Hi, my name is Bill. I'm going to be your trainer today. Let's get started. So I brought in this part here and we're going to talk about putting uh, manual supports on here. And uh, so let's go in here and we, if we go into uh, our build, our support generation, we have the option of doing manual supports. We also can go uh, generate supports and we can actually add manual supports once we create the supports. Let's go into manual supports and you can see if I turn this on off there's no supports. It gives me a list of potential support areas but it doesn't give me any uh, supports on those areas. This is a potential support area. Now if I were to change that to block support I can actually get the block support. But in this case, I'm going to do my manual supports. In this area, I can see that I'm going to have to support this area right here. So I could actually go into my marking tools, select the surface, that area there, hit F11, get that out of there, and we, we can see that I have this area marked. Then I can go into tools, create new surface. When I do that, we can see by the red indication that that's highlighted, and I can change it into a block, and now I have a support that I created. I created the support area, and I actually determined that I want it to be block, so there was no automatic supports created. So in this area, we'll do it again, we'll select that area, we'll go into tools, create new surface and we'll take get that to block and now we have another support. Now I know I have a support area uh, this number one is a support area down here. Well, let's say it never created it. I can create an area, tools, create new surface, block, then I determine well that's I need a little bit more I can add to that and then go into tools, add to current surface. Now they use the word surface, but this is not creating a new surface or, uh, but it is creating a new support area. So we say, okay, I'll go back to my unmark here and then I'll go block again and it expanded the area where the support is. So I could do that to all my surfaces where support is required. Manually create the supports. I'll exit out of here. Exit out of the support module. I didn't save those supports. And uh, I'm going to unload those supports. But I can do this in conjunction with uh, the automatic supports. So let's go to uh, support generation. Uh, generate supports automatically. It's telling me that the part's too big for the build envelope. That's okay. So it created uh, the supports automatically. But you can see this big ring here. I may want to, on the smaller one, it actually put supports in the smaller ring. So I want to add supports in here also. Well, I can do that. All we have to do is uh, mark our surface. And then go into Tools and create new surface and block. And we have a support uh, right there. So we can use it individually uh, the manual supports we can create all our supports or we can use it in conjunction with the automatic supports so in version 16.2 uh, uh, magics we have the option of doing angled supports and let's do that uh, well, so we're going to go into our support generation and you have this uh, 
generate angle supports. We'll say OK. You get this dialog box that says indicate plane. Indicate the plane or the angle. So if I indicated this plane, all my uh, supports would be on this angle going down. It would be 90 degrees to that surface. But in this case, what I want to do is I want to indicate a surface straight down. So all my supports are going to go straight down. So I say OK. Part's too big, that's OK. Now it looks exactly the same, but we have options now. If I take this support here, I'm going to select the, the support. Now I have the option to put that on an angle. So to put this on an angle, um, I'm going to do it for the reason uh, I don't want to clean up this bottom surface here. I know I have to put supports on the top, but I don't want to clean up the bottom surface here. So I go into, uh, I have it highlighted, this, the support that I want to put on an angle. And I go into common, and I go into uh, rotate support. And in this particular case, I'm going to do it in the X direction. You can see my X here. I'm going to go in this direction or this direction. I'm going to go into my X direction, and I'll do a negative 25 degrees. And then I'll go 2D, 3D, generate. And you can see I still have that surface supported but yet I don't have any supports on this, this bottom surface. And that is how you angle supports. So let's try uh, this again with the uh, angled supports and indicate plane. But I'm going to indicate a plane that's not 90 degrees to the surface. and. Uh, We'll see what happens. And you can see that it went along 90 degrees to the plane that I picked. So that's what you're going to have. So all of them. So let's undo this. And I'll remove these supports. And let's go back. And we'll go back into angle indicate plane and that's where I like to go 90 degrees and then pick my individual supports that I want to so let's go back to this support here and I want to show you that you can angle it in two directions you don't have to necessarily angle it all in one direction so and a compound angle too you can also do X and Y so let's uh, remove that. And uh, I'm going to just create a surface. Uh, we know how to do that now. Mark this surface. And uh, tools, create new surface. And then I'm going to actually go into 2D editing. And I'm going to uh, create a line for myself get out of 2d editing then I can rotate that uh, or put it on an angle in um, my X direction so I'm going to go into a negative I believe I can only I want to go only 10 degrees here. I only have a single line there. And I'm, this time I'm going to use my uh, uh, Regenerate 3D. I'm not going to use my 2D because I created the support in 2D. And if I Regenerate 2D and 3D, it will delete my support that I created in 2D. So I'm going to just regenerate that. And you can see that I have the support on an angle over there. I can come in here and uh, mark a surface again. Tool, create new surface, 
go into my 2D editor on this. I'll create it on this side now. I have that. Now I'll put this one on an angle, but I'm going to go in a positive 10 degrees on this one. And so now I have multi directions supporting that. Uh, we also can put it on a compound angle. I'll just put five degrees just to show that. Well, let's put it 10 degrees. So that's a compound angle now. So you have a lot of options there. Now let's do that and we're going to go 2D, 3D. See what would happen if we did that. It completely deleted that support because I created that support in my 2D editor. So anytime you do or modify in 2D editor and you do not want to lose those uh, supports, you're going to regenerate in 3D. If it's an automatic support generation that you created, then you can generate in 2D and 3D. I do have a undo. I can undo that. And I'm back to my support. I have it on a compound angle. I can take that compound angle away, put it back to zero. I'm going to do regenerate 3D. And I have that supported. So that's the end of our lesson on creating uh, manual supports and angled supports. That's the end of our lesson. Please review all our tutorials on the subject that you need help with. Bye now.